Okay, uh, so something else I'm going to show you is uh, I'm going to show you how to log in to the internal web browser on the Sense X Extreme. Um, in terms of the functionality, the functionality is actually very similar to the functionality on the RFID console software. And so effectively that uh, has been duplicated inside of the, uh, the browser. So to access the browser, um, just identify the IP address of your reader and uh, put in 3000 for um, non-HTTPS, 3000, and you'll be presented with a login screen and uh, the password and username are both initially admin lowercase. So we'll log in there. And immediately you'll see um, the overall uh, configuration, um, serial number, build number, and if you have a GPS antenna uh, attached, it will uh, immediately uh, report the latest um, latitude, longitude, and elevation. Um, that will not refresh. Uh, if you want to refresh that on this page, you'll have to just uh, refresh the page. Um, and then uh, the rest of this looks somewhat similar to the um, RFID console. So the overview page is, in fact, this page. Uh, the sensors are the different sensors that are supported uh, by the reader. And the main ones include for terrain, so that's RFID. Um, so here you can set uh, your reader power or your write power. And whenever you make any changes, just make sure you hit update. So I'm going to change this to 33 dBm and update power. And it will show it succeeded there. If you do make any changes and you want to save those changes to the reader, make sure you save the current configuration. Otherwise, it will not be remembered from uh, one uh, uh, one run to, to the next run if you reboot the reader. Uh, sequencing um, does pretty much what it says on the tin, so we'll give you the sequence of uh, the antenna. I have to have just a single antenna installed, but if you had three, you could then uh, configure each uh, antenna uh, in what order and for how long for. So we'll keep that a one. And uh, what type of mode you want to read on? Uh, we'll keep this on sensitive right now. And again, if you make changes, hit set on RF mode. Uh, advanced, so this will go in and allow you to change Q and um, the um, uh, S1, uh, the uh, uh, Gen 2 parameters for sessions. And that's basically the, the main configuration for RAIN. Um, and you'll also be able to go in and set configurations for other things, including things such as GPS. So the GPS data here will allow you to report um, all of these items and you can either switch it on or off um, uh, for this uh, configuration uh, option down here. And read, um, so inventory is what you, you would normally do in terms of uh, reading uh, tanks uh, from the RFID antennas as opposed to reading uh, other sensors. And um, based on the configuration we have, we'll literally just start reading. And uh, it will pull up the tags. Um, but also, you'll notice it actually pulls up the uh, GPS on this page as well. And uh, this is actually uh, updated on uh, you know, fairly frequently, as you can see here. So I'll go ahead and stop this. And uh, you can see your, your tag data there. And we, can, we can go ahead and clear this. Let's restart it. There it goes again. So let's look at the network settings. <clears throat> so here you can set up the, the heartbeat, and you can hit, see here that it's set to 30 seconds. Um, so let's change that to maybe every five seconds. Um, Wi-Fi configuration, so the Wi-Fi has a separate uh, IP, and uh, Ethernet. And uh, updates allows you to update firmware. Um, and uh, about just gives you some additional information about us, and that's pretty much the tour through the browser.